there are four options that the 49ers could draft at number three overall. We're going to name all four options from the least likely to happen to the most likely. Option number four, Zach Wilson, BYU. This isn't me saying that Wilson is the fourth best quarterback in the draft. Obviously not. He's a somewhat clear number two quarterback. I say somewhat clear because Justin Fields is going to have his second pro day, which the 49ers did not attend this first one because they were at the pro day of Mac Jones. So with Justin Fields having a second pro day, the 49ers are going to be there, and they could impress the 49ers, and who knows? Justin Fields could be the number one option. I don't know. But as of right now, Zach Wilson is the number two best quarterback in the draft behind Trevor Lawrence. Now, we say this is the least likely option to happen because the Jets are enamored by Zach Wilson. They really love Wilson and his talent, and that's why they traded away Darnold because they have hopes of drafting Wilson in the NFL draft. So, in the rare chance that Justin Fields were to be taken by the New York Jets, yeah, obviously, if you're the 49ers, you have to take Zach Wilson. But more likely than not, it's going to be Justin Fields that's going to be available on the board because Zach Wilson will be already taken by the New York Jets. So that leads us to option number three. You've got Justin Fields available if Zach Wilson is taken. Who do you take after that? Well, option number three, the third most likely option to happen, it could be Trey Lance. It really could. You don't hear about him a lot. It's a three-way race between Lawrence, Wilson, and Fields. Actually, I would say the three-way race is between Wilson, Fields, and Mac Jones on who the second quarterback is going to be taken or the third quarterback, et cetera, et cetera. Those picks could be swapped in any sort of way. Mix and match whichever way you want. We don't talk a lot about Trey Lance, though. 28 touchdowns to zero interceptions just a couple years ago at North Dakota State University. And he's the mystery behind this pick. There's some mystery behind this pick, the dark horse that could be taken by Kyle Shanahan. Maybe they're seeing something that we don't know. Maybe they know that Trey Lance is a guy that you can't pass up on. Maybe he could be a guy like Russell Wilson, where John Schneider and the Seattle Seahawks said, we had Russell Wilson ranked right underneath Andrew Luck on our draft board on who the best quarterback was in that draft class. Maybe the 49ers feel the same way about Trey Lance, and that's why they traded up to the number three spot because they don't want any other team, potentially the Denver Broncos, who are uh, three picks ahead of them at number nine, to draft Trey Lance, and they miss out on an opportunity like that. So Trey Lance is a dark horse. There's some mystery behind the pick. And could Kyle Shanahan see something that we don't see and draft Trey Lance? So that's why I feel like Trey Lance could be the third most likely option to happen. Now, two more options for the 49ers. Justin Fields or Mac Jones? Which one is going to be option number two? I'm going to say by the time that this episode is filmed and recorded, option number two, Justin Fields. I like the talent. I like I like how dynamic he is and how great he is under big pressure situations in college. And I honestly did not expect Justin Fields to be that athletic. Not calling him unathletic. I didn't think that. I thought, okay, maybe he could run. But what do you run? Like a 4-4, four, 4-5 four, four, on his pro day? Pretty freaking fast. I really love Justin Fields. And John Lynch is also a fan of Justin Fields as well. There's a lot of tension between John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan as far as which direction they go in. Because Kyle Shanahan loves more of those pocket passers. And John Lynch wants someone that's more dynamic. Someone that can just bring more life to an NFL offense. And Justin Fields could be that dynamic player for the 49ers. Uh, Pfft. That 49ers offense would be fun to watch if Justin Fields were that quarterback. And if I am pushing for anyone to get drafted at number three overall by the 49ers, I would love to see, personally, as an NFL fan, I would love to see Justin Fields in a 49ers uniform. That would be freaking awesome. So option number two, I have Justin Fields. Option number one. We already talked about Zach Wilson, Trey Lance, Justin Fields. Mac Jones, 
from Alabama. I'm just as surprised as you. Dude, I'm not saying that Mac Jones is better than Justin Fields. I'm not saying that he's better than Zach Wilson or or Trey Lance. I don't know. According to a lot of NFL scouts, they're saying that Mac Jones is the fifth best quarterback in the NFL draft. Fifth best quarterback? And you're going to take him as the third best quarterback. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Why is that? Well, the reasoning behind it is because Kyle Shanahan loves those pocket passers, like I mentioned with Justin Fields. He loves those pocket passers, and he's a student of the game under his dad, Mike Shanahan. Mike Shanahan loves pocket passers as well. For instance, Mac Jones, a lot of NFL comparisons, his pro comparison is compared to Jake Plummer. You remember him? Signed with the Denver Broncos after playing with the Arizona Cardinals, was the quarterback for a little bit of time for Mike Shanahan in Denver. Mac Jones is comparable to someone like Jake Plummer. And that's why Kyle Shanahan could pull the trigger and say that Mac Jones is going to be the quarterback of the San Francisco 49ers. Listen, before you dislike this video, that's not me saying that I would take him at number three overall. This is just what I think is going to happen. And he... We can like it, we can hate it, but I feel like that the 49ers, as of today, when this video is being filmed, this podcast is being released, Mac Jones is going to be a San Francisco 49er. So to recap, option four, least likely to happen, Zach Wilson. Three, Trey Lance. Two, Justin Fields. And one, Mac Jones. But be on the lookout. Because if the 49ers who attend the Pro Day of Justin Fields are impressed on April 14th, when his Pro Day is, we could be talking about Justin Fields being a San Francisco 49ers. So leave your comments and your thoughts down below. What do you think is going to happen with Justin Fields, with Mac Jones, in the San Francisco 49ers?